Head of Diversity at the Film Council, which is basically a role that is more of an outward facing role. Um, so it's not so much about what the diversity of the staff in the Film Council, but it's more about what we can do to get better diversity in terms of the workforce, in terms of on-screen content and portrayal, and, and also in terms of the way we work as an organisation, so the way that our funding operates and so on. I suppose the thing that is different about me and my other colleagues at the Film Council Management team is that I haven't kind of come from film into this, this role. Um, I've actually been working in the field of diversity in a range of different sort of professions and sectors for about the last 13 years, maybe a little bit more now. Um, and that's been the constant, so that's hopefully kind of what I bring to the role is a sense of specialism around diversity. Um, in terms of my background, I'm a lawyer. Um, I spent the first part of my career working with a um, professional body for lawyers, for solicitors in England and Wales, um, in broadly a similar capacity. So it's about advising the profession about access into law um, for a whole range of people, not just kind of black and minority ethnic groups, but disabled people, women and so forth. And, you know, in that sense, um, what I'm doing now at the Film Council, that experience is very relevant, because what you learn from that is that everybody has very different start points and even among the so-called diverse communities you know, everybody has very different starting points in terms of what their challenges are what kind of support they need one size does not fit all um, hopefully it's not all just about positive action schemes you know it's not just about creating a bigger training ghetto but it is about looking you know really strategically about how you move people through an industry that historically has not been terribly accessible terribly transparent or anything else like that it's not been diversity friendly totally up until this point in time so it's working with that we run a network called leadership on diversity which is a network of about 21 different trade associations and guilds and with them we signed up to an equality charter about a year ago just over a year ago um, to create a, a, a shared agenda really for what we want to do around equality and diversity in the film industry and this network is a collection of about 21 different um, organisations ranging from you know, the Production Guild, Directors Guild, all the way through to the Writers Guild, so it covers the whole value chain. And in this shared agenda, or the Equality Charter as we call it, um, one of the priority areas that we identified for taking action on this year was in terms of on-screen content and portrayal. So what we've done is to pull together an, uh, a collection of portraits especially commissioned portraits that celebrate, yes, of course, you know, the achievement of a number of great sort of black British actors, but it also, I suppose, will prompt questions. We're hoping that what it will do is prompt some questions about why it is we don't maybe see enough of them on screen or why it is maybe that some of them have had to kind of do a very long route, route you know, through the US and back again to really forge their careers in film. So it, it is prompting, I hope, some questions about whether we need more on-screen diversity and how we achieve it as an industry, as well as acknowledging what some people have already done in a very, very tough environment, a very tough industry. It's interesting about world cinema funds, as they currently are structured, is that it's obviously an opportunity for the home producing community to find you know, diverse talent in in other countries, particularly predominantly developing world countries, and partner with them and co-produce with them. Um, I think the trick going forward, the real opportunity going forward will be to ensure that those home producers themselves are as diverse as they could be. Do you know what I mean? I think, and that's one of the areas where the UK, I think, um, potentially, you know, could be ahead of the game. It does have um, connections with practically every community around the world um, in, in significant numbers in the UK, in London especially, you know, hugely diverse in terms of numbers of languages and cultures represented there. So I think the, the strategic challenge is going to be how we can make those, those turn those kind of possibilities around into, into real opportunities where we have, you know, I don't know, UK, Nigerian producers, writers and directors working with Nigerian filmmakers in Nigeria or working with Caribbean writers, directors and producers who are, are in the UK working with you know, Jamaican producers, writers, directors, crew, whatever in Jamaica. That will be a very interesting possibility. Um, but as I say, as I said earlier, I think I think partly it's incumbent on us, you know, those communities to make that really happen, to be entrepreneurial and see that possibility and convert it into something more tangible.